specific case that I'm going to operate with Navident and the peculiarity of this case is uh, offered by the fact that it is a post extraction site. Uh, number 3.6 tooth uh, has been taken out just a few weeks ago and so the sockets, uh, mesial and distal one, are filled with osteoid. So uh, the implant has been planned in the interradicular septum. Uh, it might be the uh, possibility uh, that uh, the uh, gears don't, uh, don't cut uh, properly the septum. So uh, in that case, I will change the plan and uh, I will uh, design, the, uh, design two implants, one in the mesial socket and the other one in the uh, distal one. Ecco Daniela, allora, ciao. Stiamo per usare un sistema di chirurgia guidata tramite un sistema estremamente innovativo che è questo robotino che con tutti di notti ci permette di rapportare dei sensori eh, opportunamente posizionati di vedere quello che facciamo all'interno della tua bocca e del tuo corso. patient with uh, uh, an edentulism between teeth in the third quadrant. It is a class 3 division A bone, abundant bone. And uh, I will perform surgery placing this implant using Navident and uh, enjoy. Today we are at Dr. Telara's office in Lucca. Dr. Telara is a master clinical trainer from Navident. Dr. Telara has carried out two treatments today, very successfully. But I do have a question for you, Dr. Telara. You are an experienced surgeon, but why should an experienced surgeon make use of Navident? Uh, well, a mental guidance is not as accurate as a guided surgery can be. And surely Navident has many strengths that make professionals sure of what they are performing. Uh, one of them is, for instance, that it is possible to modify the planning during surgery. In certain cases, such as post-extraction sites, one of the cases of this morning, a static guide could have seen the whole procedure aborted. While this morning I have completely finalized my case without any problems. And so uh, this is a great advantage that now we don't Yeah, I see that, Dr. Talara. Okay. But let me ask you a final question for today. For beginners, what would you recommend talking about Navident and their experience, first experience with Navident. Okay, uh, Navident protocol considers four steps. The first one is the making of an impression to prepare the Navi stent, which is a sensor worn by the patient during CT scanning. Then come planning and placing of the implant that is surgery. 
the navistent manufacturing uh, is done according to a strictly protocol. But the uh, good news is that Navident software always uh, allows professionals to be aware of all steps of the entire procedure before and during surgery. I can affirm that Navident is a number one team.